Cybertruck has become a sensation since its announcement, and now brace yourselves for a jaw-dropping spectacle that's sending shockwaves through the automotive realm. In this heart-pounding expose, we unravel the spine-tingling reasons behind the Cybertruck crash test that will leave you on the edge of your seat. From futuristic design to cutting-edge materials, discover the unexpected twists and turns that make this crash test a white-knuckle experience. So get ready to witness the collision of innovation and impact with me in Infinite Innovations Tech. This show will leave you both excited and utterly mesmerized. Do you remember the video where Tesla tested the Cybertruck's durability by simulating a crash? It was released on April 1st and was quite intense, making you think a crash was about to happen at any moment. However, in reality, there was no crash during that particular test. The results were revealed later during the Cybertruck delivery event, and they were shocking but probably not for the reasons you might expect. Since then, many people on the internet who claim to be experts have criticized these crash tests. They argue that the Cybertruck has a poor design and poses a danger to those it collides with and its occupants. But is there any truth to these claims? Watching the video alone, especially the complete frontal crash where the truck was going at only 35 miles per hour, raises concerns. The force exerted on the passengers is quite significant, to the extent that even the rear axle seems to break. That doesn't seem normal. According to these internet experts, the issue lies in the strength of the stainless steel body. They argue that its strength prevents it from crumpling properly upon impact, causing the forces to be directly transferred to the occupants. One expert even made a video comparing the Cybertruck to other trucks, emphasizing that those trucks have proper crumple zones, this video gained 52 million views, and the comments mostly agreed that the Cybertruck is poorly designed and unsafe in various ways. What if we told you these experts might not be, and need to learn what they're talking about? The comparison video was made using different crash tests. The Cybertruck underwent a complete frontal crash, while the others experienced a front overlap, where only about a third of the front hit the barrier making it easier to absorb energy. For a fairer comparison, let's look at the Cybertruck against one of the safest trucks available, the F-150, particularly the all-electric Lightning. Correct me if I need to be corrected, but I don't see a significant difference in the crumple zone between these two. However, the natural contrast becomes apparent in side impact tests. In this simulation of a T-bone accident at nearly 40 miles per hour with a 3,100 pounds car, resembling someone running a red light, the Cybertruck stays firmly grounded due to its low center of gravity and weight. Aside from the airbags deploying, it could drive away. Compare this with the F-150 in the same test. Which one would you prefer to be in? Some people believe Tesla, the company known for producing some of the safest cars, somehow overlooked safety in the design of the Cybertruck. Just look under the Cybertruck's front, and you'll see they still need to remember everything. Despite the alarming front crash test, it's crucial to realize that colliding with an immovable object is the worst-case scenario, even worse than hitting a brick wall or a house. The Cybertruck, made of 3.5 tons of space-grade steel, is designed to handle such extreme situations, and not many obstacles it encounters will be immovable. One concerning aspect is the rear axle snapping in the front crash test. But in reality, the Cybertruck doesn't have a traditional rear axle. It employs rear wheel steering without a connecting axle between the rear wheels, explaining why it seemed to tow in during the accident. Now that we've addressed some misconceptions, let's delve into what makes the Cybertruck formidable. The criticism isn't limited to the Cybertruck. Trucks in general have grown larger and heavier over time, posing increased crash risks as indicated by crash data. While there are valid concerns about the Cybertruck's safety, it's important to remember that we're dealing with America, where larger vehicles have become the norm. These days, your average pickup truck, like the Ram 1500, can weigh around 6,400 pounds. If you go for a heavy-duty truck like the F-250, it can tip the scales at over 7,600 pounds. While these might seem like over-the-top behemoths to people in places with strict pedestrian safety rules, Americans are crazy about them. Even those who don't need a truck get one because they want the most significant and toughest vehicle on the road. Trust me, you see them everywhere. 
Now, let's discuss the Cybertruck. It's undeniable. Tesla has introduced a groundbreaking vehicle to the conventional truck industry. This vehicle resembles a street legal tank weighing approximately 6,800 pounds and is constructed using space grade stainless steel. Unlike a regular tank, it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds. The most frightening part for me and everyone else on the road is that just like those massive trucks we discussed earlier, anyone can go out and buy one. If I talk about the Model S Plaid, it's simply incredible. A car with such rapid acceleration doesn't require a special license. The potential for trouble is real, especially if you need to be more experienced or hold down the accelerator a bit longer. Accelerating from zero to a high-speed accident can occur in the blink of an eye, and it frequently happens, particularly in Teslas, as they respond instantly to the gas pedal. Remember that incident in China where the driver confused the accelerator and brake pedals, causing a tragic accident? Well, such incidents are more common than we might realize. According to a study by the NHTSA, around 16,000 similar crashes happen in the US annually, an average of 44 per day. Imagine if that mishap occurred in a Cybertruck. It's a pretty scary thought. Tesla has implemented significant measures to avoid such accidents. The vehicle software now includes features that can stop the car if it detects an improper use of the accelerator pedal. This has saved many lives. Nonetheless, human behavior is unpredictable, and despite these safety measures, accidents may still occur. The idea of driving a Cybertruck unsettles me, but the concern isn't unique. Other large trucks and SUVs on the road pose similar risks. It's disconcerting to think that a young driver, perhaps with limited experience, could easily acquire such a powerful vehicle. Yet this isn't solely a Tesla problem, and I don't believe it's their responsibility to address it. Interestingly, when the Hummer EV was introduced, which is heavier and accelerates rapidly, safety concerns didn't seem as vocal as they are now with the Cybertruck. I understand that many people are concerned about the safety of the Cybertruck on our roads, and I share those concerns. However, it's worth acknowledging that many other dangerous vehicles, huge trucks, are already on the street. My frustration lies in the fact that some of the individuals criticizing the Cybertruck are the same ones purchasing large trucks that seem unnecessary for everyday tasks, like dropping kids off at school or going to the grocery store. If you're European, the Cybertruck might not even be a concern for you, as it's unlikely to pass strict pedestrian impact testing. This raises the question of whether these oversized vehicles, including the Cybertruck, pose a fundamental safety risk for everyone around them. So, we'll have to wait and see how the Cybertruck performs once it's released. Based on the safety concerns of other trucks on the road, my prediction is that it may fail to fare well in terms of safety for those in its vicinity. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the Cybertruck's performance in the crash tests? Does its futuristic design translate to enhanced safety or does it raise concerns? Drop your comments below and remember to hit that like button if you found this video insightful. If you're intrigued by the intersection of innovation and safety, subscribe to our channel for more updates on groundbreaking vehicle technologies. Stay tuned for our next exploration into the world of automotive advancements. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you in the following video.